Film prices have gone up lately, so I did some investigations. I found uh, a popular photography magazine, an April issue from 1995. And it lists film prices in that year. These are US prices. And then I, uh, I went online and took a look at the same films that were listed there and their current prices. Here are a few examples. Kodak Gold Super back in 1995, 757. Uh, now the price is 899. Fuji Color, 784, now 1299. Kodak Very Color, that was later branded as Portra. Uh, back in the days 784, uh, now 1460, and then Kodak Ektachrome was 1137, now 2199. If you look at percentage wise, these increases, uh, Kodak Gold has uh, increased the price almost 20%, and then Kodak Ektachrome most almost 100%. Okay, so what has happened to money? from 95 to 2023. Um, the average inflation in the US during that period has been 2.33%. Uh, that means that uh, if we do the math, the prices should have doubled just to match the inflation. So if something costed $1 back in the days, now it should be $2. As we can see, if None of these examples has gone up even to compensate the inflation. Then if we take, just for the heck of it, some of everyday items and look at their price development during that period, we can formulate all kind of <laughs> Excel sheets. So let's look at mine. 95, a Big Mac, $3, now $5.75. Increase almost 100%. So Big Mac matches the uh, inflation rate uh, pretty accurately. But then gallon of milk from 99 cents to 350, almost 250% or over 250% increase. 12x from $1 to 6, that's 500% increase. An average new car price from less than 10,000 to a little bit less than 50,000. That's 400% increase. Or house price, a single family house in the US from less than 80,000 to over 500,000. So as we can see, pretty much everything, all the prices have gone up more than inflation, um, other than film prices. So if you just look at the film prices, there's no justification of saying just from the price development point of view, that film is more expensive than it was back in the days. Hey, even though this is not a financial uh, channel, uh, a brief explanation, inflation measures how much prices go up. And now, uh, why does it look like the prices have gone up more than inflation? It's because some prices have not gone up so much. Like that's typically things where technology has increased productivity. Things like TVs or home appliances, every electronic things, computers. And then some products are not apples to apples. If you think about phones, uh, you can't compare a phone from 95 to a phone of today. It's a different functionality. So that sort of limits the comparability, just to keep that in mind. <laughs> What about then the development? You know, the same magazine says that uh, the development of one single roll of film and then those low quality Walmart prints that you would get uh, $4. And then I went online and looked at the prices because I developed myself, so I didn't really know what it cost to develop your film. Uh, I went to thedarkroom.com. So one film roll and then scans $12. So that increase is 200% from 4 to 12. So, so that is sort of more comparable to everything else that we have around us. Um, so hey, then somebody says that, you know, a few years ago film was dirt cheap. 
But we cannot use that time period uh, after 2005 to maybe 2017 as any kind of a measure stick. That was an unhealthy business situation. We had a lot of extra capacity, a lot of, um, it's kind of a declining business, classical, uh, huge supply, little demand situation. Everybody was dumping their inventory to the, to the, um, to the markets. Uh, nobody was investing in the new development. And, you know, just, that just drove the film prices down. Now we get much healthier situation because the usage of film is picking up again, about 30% every year, more film shooters, more film being shot. And then a lot of players have gone out of business or disappeared. So those who are left, they can start to build healthy business. And there are signs of that, like Kodak hired 300 new guys just to spool the film, just to package it, because that is the bottleneck for film production right now, just to get them into these containers. And to solve that, there are a lot of new boutique shops like Santa Film that does the exact spooling and packaging for us. Other players like Forma, um, Ilford, just are coming up with new films, which is interesting. And I think we, as film photographers, we should sort of welcome that development. Healthy business, where filmmakers can make some money and development labs can make some money means that these services and film is available in the future. So is it expensive right now? Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's a poorly uh, subject subjective statement. Um, and I certainly respect if you are in the financial situation that you need to cut down your uh, other living costs. I mean, film is probably not on the basis of, of uh, muscle of hierarchy. So, I mean, you gotta eat, but you don't need to shoot on film. I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> but hey, and then there are other alternatives. Now that you bought your $1,000 phone, Use that to take those casual shots. Don't try to do that on film. Back in 95, you didn't have a choice. If you wanted to take a picture, you needed to pay those prices and you needed to take a film picture. Now you take your cell phone and take a picture with that. Uh, so we have the luxury now to um, preserve and use film only for those special occasions, only for those circumstances where film shines and where we really want to use film, whatever that means to you. So that gives us much more flexibility than we had back in 95. Um, so what's my conclusion? If you just look at the numbers, Film is not expensive. It doesn't even match the increase of everything else around us. For us film shooters, uh, it's only beneficial if film prices start to be high enough to invite more players, more film producers. And it hope, it's hopefully getting there. And then last but not least, we are no longer prisoners of film. We don't need to shoot because we have other means and we can preserve film for those special occasions and really enjoy it. So film is cheap, it's affordable, we get plenty of film. Let's stop complaining. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't take this too seriously. See you later.